Let's talk about the different ways that Robot Monitor helps you manage storage. First of all, we're once again looking at my production dashboard. And by default, out of the box, when you first install and activate Robot Monitor, you'll see we have auxiliary storage monitoring. So in my production dashboard, I have my two production system, Academy and Wisdom displayed. Academy's at 82%, Wisdom is at 70%. Let's go into a system view and look at just my academy system. Currently auxiliary storage is at 82%. You can see we've exceeded a threshold that I have determined or maybe you're using this, the threshold that's assigned to auxiliary storage right out of the box. You have the ability to drill into this metric or any metric on the screen just by double clicking and that will show you the history of this metric over the last few hours. In this case we have eight hours displayed in this line graph. If you did have a spike that happened sometime in the recent past, of course you could see that. Likewise in the upper right hand corner you have the ability to change your view to history summary. Now you're looking at your auxiliary storage metric average for the last 12 months going back in this case to May of 2021. I have the ability to drill into any one of these averages so for instance I could go back to August of 2021. Now what I'm looking at are my daily averages and if I wanted to drill further I could go into August 27th which averaged 78.6 percent over the course of the day but here is what the collected values look like for every hour of the day. So this is a fairly high level. Some other ways that we can monitor storage is for instance temporary storage. In this case we're monitoring the overall cumulative temporary storage used by all the various jobs on your system. So if you had all these jobs up, all the temporary storage used by the workloads on your system, this is the amount of temporary storage that would be used. You can also set up specific temporary storage monitoring for specific workloads. Here if we go to the item selection panel and down to temporary storage, you can see I've got several monitors set up for individual subsystems, individual jobs, or combination thereof. One that comes to mind is all my QZDA activity and how much temporary storage is being used by those. Similar, you can and probably should do QTemp storage monitoring. If you're not doing that already, something to consider, either by monitoring all temporary storage used by all workloads, or you can be more specific. For instance, once again, we have QZDA SO init QTemp listed. Another form of storage monitoring that you can do is with the object size monitor. With the object size monitor, we can focus on certain libraries and objects within those libraries, and we will add up the total amount of storage used by those objects. Something that comes to mind, for instance, are journal receivers used by your high availability data replication products individual files used by your applications or simply the total amount of storage used by a library. So for example let's try something simple. How about the total storage used by your QHIST objects? All right, how did we configure that? We selected object size I've used a wildcard for the object name. I've specified the library to look in and the object type. And I have a very low collection frequency. A collection frequency of 60 means I only want you to collect once every 30 minutes or once every 60 30 second collections. Likewise for any of these object size monitors you can set thresholds and you can do notifications within those thresholds and you can create specific thresholds depending on what you're monitoring. In this case I'm just using the default for object size. Yet another form of storage monitoring in Robot Monitor 
is called largest object and largest library. For example, let's pull in my largest object on System Academy. So what this monitor will tell me is what are the largest objects on my system. In this case, uh, there's a save file in the Heath library. And likewise, you can put a threshold on those as well. Largest library is similar. For instance, let's pull in the largest library for my academy system, 48.9 gigs. And if I do show detail, once again, it's that Heath library. And you can see I have a threshold assigned to this monitor as well. Next, there is the disk summary option. The disk summary is a once a day collection that's run in batch on each one of your partitions being monitored by Robot Monitor. And it gives you a snapshot of what storage look like in terms of library and IFS at that point in time. So for my most recent collection, of course, Heath was, uh, we know he had a very large library. So my average storage used for library Heath in the month of April is 48.9 gigs. Now I can click on that and it says so far for the month of April, we didn't do a collection on, on the second, but his library was, you know, right up there, 48.87, all right? And then under options, I can also do a yearly view of this same data. So here's Heath's library on average for every month going back to May of 2021. And likewise, if there's any other library that I want to look at, I can do that as well simply by selecting a library under item selection. Under options, you also can look at directories. When you select this option, it will show you the largest directory on your system, and in this case, top 10. And like the library display, I can select any directory. It will show me my collected values for each day of the current month. And then under options, I can go to the yearly view to find out what that, in this case, directory, has looked like over time. If you do have any questions about storage monitoring in Robot Monitor, please contact Technical Support. Thanks for listening.